Hello, insiders. This week, we're going to talk about a very important topic, which is account security. I'm going to go into some best practices. We recently received some questions and comments about account hijackings and wanted to give you a little bit more detail. Now, before I get into the nuances, if at this moment you feel like your account has been compromised, please refer to the link in the description below and it'll give you very specific instructions on how to secure your account and regain control. Now, with that said, let's get into a little bit more of the background. We're gonna go into a conversation about internet safety and basically how to make sure your experience as a YouTube creator is as safe as possible from some bad guys out there who are doing some phishing. Uh, and I'm just gonna go into a little bit about how it all works, things you can do to uh, prevent it, and uh, hopefully everybody will be safe after you watch this video and do some uh, some quick actions. So before we get into it, let's talk about what exactly is phishing. So this is basically one of these practices where the bad actors are sending emails. They are making it look like they're a reputable company, and they want you to basically download some malware or they're trying to get you to reveal personal information like your passwords or credit card numbers. So that's what phishing is. How can you identify one of these phishing emails? Well, the bad folks are getting pretty good and they're always changing their tactics, but there are some things that uh, can help you recognize a phishing email. So the first one is the emails may come from an address that looks similar to a company you know and trust, but it's slightly different. Uh, the body of the email will often tell a story to kind of trick you into sharing your account login information. It may suggest that you click on a link or open an attachment. It could have a link to downloading uh, malware, which is most commonly disguised as a sponsorship email. So it's like, hey, we love your channel. We want to sponsor you. Can you, you know, help us promote this uh, software or game or whatever? Um, and then they'll ask you to add additional owners and things like that. Now, you're probably like, well, what am I supposed to do? Like, how am I supposed to protect myself? So the first thing you should do is we strongly, strongly, strongly recommend enabling two-factor authentication or uh, two-step verification. Basically, you know, you don't just have your username and password to get into your account. Now, when this is enabled, if someone tries to sign in from a new device or location, Google will request a second verification from you for an added layer of security. Now, this will help uh, reduce unauthorized people from accessing your account. It's all upside. It's a little bit more work. You know, it's kind of like sometimes when you log into your bank, they make you give in some code for that they'll text you. But uh, if you think about it, if those bad guys got you to give up your credentials and then they try and log in and then they try to use that second factor, they're not going to be able to do it or less likely for sure. Now, in general, if you do get a suspicious looking email, here's some tips. One is make sure that the sender's email address looks right before clicking on any links. All emails sent to you from YouTube will come from at youtube.com or at google.com. They're not going to come from at makemoneyonyoutube.com or at youtubes.com or, you know, at googleads.com. The other thing is to check that the email address and the sender name match. Hover over any links before you click on them. If the URL of the link doesn't match the description of the link, it might be leading you to a phishing site. Don't enter your Google password on any page except accounts.google.com. And the page also will have a padlock icon in the address bar. So it has to be accounts.google.com. Otherwise, don't, don't give out your password or username on any other page. In addition to not clicking on any links, you should never share your username, password, or any other sensitive information directly over email. No matter who asks for it or how much they say they're going to want to help you or how crucial it is for you to give them this information urgently. And never share your password with your team. So we recommend that you use channel permissions in YouTube Studio to let others manage your channel instead of giving away your credentials. And be extremely cautious when downloading executable programs 
and browser extensions. Watch out for suspicious signs such as very large downloads or unexpected domain names. Now, um, there's some links below on tips for staying safe online and making your account more secure. That's going to give you a little bit more details. But that's a high-level summary from me. I hope it was helpful. Um, stay safe. Enable those two-factor authentications. Don't click on any email links that look suspicious. Don't give anyone your information uh, over email. And uh, when in doubt, just log in like if... YouTube needs you to do something. We're going to make that available to you when you log into the actual product. It's always safer to just log in the studio and take care of it there. All right. Hopefully this was useful. Keep it real and we'll see you next time.